In this video, I'd like to talk to you about some MCSD certification options, because sometimes when you take your first look at Microsoft's certification guidelines, it can be just a little bit confusing. And so I want you to understand what your options are here very clearly. The Microsoft Certified Solutions Developer, or MCSD certification, is a globally recognized standard amongst developers and companies that hire and so forth. Now there's another advantage to holding an MCSD certification or really any Microsoft certification because certain companies that provide programming services, consulting services, all sorts of things are rated based on the number of certified people they have on their staff. And so by having these certifications, increases your opportunities out there in the workplace. At this time, Microsoft currently offers four MCSD certifications based on various technologies. The first would be the MCSD for Windows Store App Development. The second would be the MCSD for Web Application Development. And then there's the MCSD for SharePoint Applications Development. And then finally, MCSD for Application lifecycle management. Now the MCSD Windows Store apps can be achieved by passing three exams, programming in C-sharp, and that's exam 70-483. That is the course you're watching right now. After this exam, you can then move on to the essentials of developing Windows Store apps using C-sharp, and that would be 70-484 on the exam. And then finally, Exam 70-485, Advanced Windows Store App Development Using C-Sharp. And once you've passed these, you will achieve the MCSD certification for Windows Store apps. Also, when you pass this exam 70-483, you earn a Microsoft Specialist certification that is known as Programming in C-Sharp Specialist. Now, this is good stuff to go on a resume, a business card, and again, depending on the company you're going to work for, especially if they're a Microsoft certified partner, these things really make you more valuable to that organization. And the big thing is it proves that you have skill set at a certain level. Now understand that I always talk about this when I'm dealing with developers. Please don't feel intimidated. We all come into a programming environment every single day feeling like there's just something else we need to know. We tend to be intimidated by other developers because what happens if you watch a bunch of developers get together, everyone has kind of grown up in a different segment of the IT development environment. And so one person has really strong skills when it comes to dealing with databases. Another one has really strong skills when it comes to program architecture. Another may have really strong skills when it comes to Windows Store applications in general. And so the real strength here is melding all these specialist type functions together and everybody learning from everyone else. And that is where the real power of development comes in. So the bottom line here is don't be intimidated by what you don't know. Nobody out there understands every aspect of this stuff. C Sharp or VB programming skills are also required to pass a number of the other MCSD exams that are out there. For example, if you're going to take the Developing ASP.NET MVC, Model View Controller, Web Applications exam, which by the way is 70-486, you're going to need to have a significant understanding and skill set with C Sharp or Visual Basic. And again, not to disparage anyone using VB, but C Sharp tends to be the standard out there in an enterprise environment unless VB is firmly entranced in there and applications are currently running that were written on VB. Also, if you're looking at an exam like 70-487, developing Microsoft Azure and web services, you're going to need significant C-sharp or VB programming skills to understand the techniques and the functionalities you're going to use to build these web services or to work with Microsoft Azure and make a functionality happen. You can take a look at Microsoft.com forward slash learning for more information and understand there are other exams out there that your abilities with C Sharp or VB is really going to help you. So this course 
in helping you understand how to program in C-sharp is really going to give you a strong foundation for moving forward through this certification path. If you go into your browser and just go to www.microsoft.com forward slash learning, it will redirect you to this page. And you can go right here to certifications and exams, come over to MCSD, and then you can start to work through these grids here and understand exactly what's available. So if I go to the Windows Store Apps MCSD section, it shows me that I can achieve an MCSD in two ways, either by developing Windows Store Apps using HTML5 or using C Sharp. And so you can see the various things that are required here. So C Sharp is a fundamental aspect of a number of Microsoft Certified Solutions Developer Certifications. I hope this will help you get acclimated as to how your certifications fit into the course you're taking and how it'll help you.